Hi, this is uh, Juliana, and I'll be in the driver's seat. And I'm Zach, and I'm in the back seat. And this is Limino City. Limino City. Um, and uh, it's a game we picked up on Humble Bundle not long ago. Mm-hmm. And uh, I thought it looked really interesting yeah. from the get-go. We've, and We've each poked at it a little bit on our own. And um, we both thought it was a really, really cool game, and we wanted to share it with you guys. Yeah. So here we are. And uh, one of the interesting aspects is it's uh, hand-drawn, hand-painted, and stop-motion recorded. Yeah. So all of the 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 scenery and the background scenery that that was physically made by somebody. Somebody made that by hand, and and you know did the the stop-motion animation for it. So they you know as you know as you see elements in the environment rotating, it's like that was physically moving at one point a really cool concept and I think this game executed it really well. Yeah. Um, so we're just gonna start off here. Yep. Alright, I kind of love the use of a blueprint paper in the background. Mm-hmm. I'm not quite sure if that's as, as so it, good or anything, but it's really nice. It really to... fits with the theme. Yeah. Have I got a story to tell you? Trees tw- dash twenty four large birch. Figure one, two hundred and ninety four meters vertical. And that's Granddad's house. And uh, I say we enter. Here so we go. away we go. Granddad Lumi. Now, as I was saying, well, there's concept design too. So anyway, well, um, that's who. Did that. Yes, yes, yes. And it's figure two. Not that you can see the figure. But yeah, anyway. But I think they got that. Yeah, okay. There's been some terrible trouble at the city. And I think I'm going to need a cup of tea before I tell you. And I want to show you something. Give me a moment to look in my bookshelf. You know, that really does remind me of my dad. But would you be kind enough to go and make the tea? Except dad doesn't drink tea, he drinks coffee. I know. Yes, you know that. Yes. But they don't. They don't know my dad drinks. Fairly coffee. irrelevant information. Just well, saying. Yeah, but I mean, I'm gonna look on my bookcase. Ca- Could you please make me like a cup of something? <laughs> Whatever. You know. All right. So. By the way. All right. So we've got two tea bags, two mugs, and a kettle. And that's figure three. So. Make. Tea. Make tea. Drag and drop. Boop. Crash! You broke it. What was that? Someone's breaking in. Oh no, you can't. What are you doing? Oh, I didn't notice that. Oh no, no, no! I never noticed those before. Wham! Get out! Get Get your hands off! Ow! 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 ow. To the the city, city, Lumi! Slam! I never noticed that there was the 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 extra exposition in the in the words up top, like the the stuff that was coming from upstairs. I didn't notice that the first time I played through. I, I noticed the text coming through. So. I noticed the text coming through, but I didn't notice that there was text within the text, which I think is really cool. Yeah. Granddad's gone. What was that? So we're in figure five now. Woo, woo, woo. I love the, the, yeah, the no, shift that's, like that. That's... The transitions in this game are really cool. Yeah. Um, He's dropped something. Yep. The handy manual. Click, Click on, on bag to look inside. inside. You know what that also reminds me of is M.C. Escher. Or East... Yeah, M.C. Escher. Yeah, yeah, M.C. Escher. Um, So... Handy manual. Ideas, sketches, and how things work. This looks like it could be useful. I'll look at it later. (laughs) (laughs) I'm I'm gonna be back for this bitch. Yeah. Um, And it is, in fact, the handy manual. Yeah, as as you will soon find out, it's pretty... It's... It's really, really interesting. That concept because alone won won this this game my mm-hmm. heart. Like I'm not even to the yeah. city figure nine. Because I mean, technically yes, it's a cheat sheet, but it's not traditional in any way. It's not just like oh X Y. There's a lot more to it than. So this is the city. Looks like it was once very grand. I need to find find a way way up. up. Hmm. 
Hmm. Uh, that's, you skipped a step. I did. Remember. I I know. <laughs> I know. I'm just trying to. I was trying to click to see if there was information to be had. Because last time I just kind of half asked. Well. Oh. Nice. Yeah. Remember, this is the tutorial puzzle. Yeah. Stick. Dingle bangle. You, you, you can kind of see what I'm saying here is you can see that it's all of this is, is, is a physical object. You can see their So use then, who of... are you? I'm Lumi. I'm trying to find my granddad. Have you seen him? Your granddad? I don't know. What's he look like? Um, old? Big mustache? You mean the handyman? Nope. I haven't seen him in ages. Is that why you got me? Is that all you got me out of my seat for? Don't know why I bother. Oh my god, you can actually tell it's horse racing right in the background. Uh huh. This... <laughs> my TV, <laughs> not another power cut. Ridiculous. But I, I really like their use of depth of field in this. Like, you can tell they put a lot of effort. And the use of shadow, light and yeah. shadow. Yeah. I love these lights, but they definitely look. Definitely look better turned on. That's cool. I missed that last time. And just so that you guys can see the awesomeness that is the handy manual. They'll, we'll get there. You're jumping ahead of yourself. We don't I, need it yet. We didn't need it yet, but I, I did want to say, like, if you're having trouble with any part of this game, you can find it. And they are listed in order, which is also really nice, but you have to do some... You have to be able to figure out where exactly in the manual Yeah, it is. and that's... That's actually harder than most people would think it would be. Yeah. I think these are lemon trees. They certainly smell like it. <laughs> they seem to be growing from inside the house. Or they seem to be growing from inside the house. Alright, well. That was not helpful. Do you not remember where to go? I do, but I'm... It's rusted shut and hasn't been used in years. Alright. But you're what? I'm going to play it like a real person that hasn't played it before. <sighs> Alright. Alright. Okay. Because that's not really helpful right now. Oh, that's very helpful. Mm-hmm. Although, um, I would like to actually... Anyway. Lemon sauce, lemon marmalade. Do you see the other great uses page? Or diagram? Uh, it, showed lemon, it showed a lemon battery. Oh. <laughs> go, go look at it again. Like, they did an excellent job of incorporating... Info. Look at that. I remember... Other you know, great uses, number eight. Oh, battery, yep, indeed. <laughs> okay. Have some lemons. Remember, have some lemons for these other exciting recipes. Lemon surprise, lemonade, lemonade cupcakes, lemon, lemon joust, joust. Steak, and apple, steak and ale pie. Right. Remember, treat the lemon well and the lemon will treat you. <laughs> <laughs> lemon in a lemon sauce. Ingredients, one lemon, another lemon, lemon to garnish. For an extra special treat, why not squeeze on some fresh lemon juice? Uh, lemon marmalade. One kilogram unwaxed lemons, two kilograms granulated sugar. Yep. That's funny. Well, it actually goes through it. Oh, yeah, I know. It goes through the whole process. Yeah, that one. This one, I'm... It does. Grate but... the zest from one of the lemons and squeeze out the juice. Cut another lemon into eight wedges. Cut the remaining three lemons... <laughs> 
Into 12 slices of 5 millimeter quarter inch thickness, heat the oil on a small saucepan over medium heat. Add the lemon and add the lemon rind and cook until golden. Whisk in the lemon juice, then remove from the heat. Coat the grill rack with the cooking spray. Preheat the grill to medium. Lightly brush both sides of the lemon. They don't want to read this. No, they don't care. They, they don't care. Just go we're, back. We're, we'll be yeah. back for this because that's hilarious. That, yeah, that's that's that to us is actually pretty darn funny. All right, so. Now I've got something that's legible. <sighs> okay. Alright, so now we're gonna use... Yeah! Alright. Uh, I'm gonna go with the handy manual for this. Don't forget, you need to pull out your lemons first. Fine. Fine. Lemons. Prompt. Okay. So here's the handy manual. And it's not just a... It's not just a book with all the... I mean, it is... A Ideas, book with, it's sketches, a book. and how things work. Right. It's a book with all the puzzles in it, but it's not just that. And once you see the the um, the table of the contents. table of contents, you'll understand what yeah. we're talking about. To Lumi, my work in progress to be used in an emergency. emergency. Bink. All right. And here you go. Number of buttons on the lock, and then the number of spikes. Number of spikes minus, minus 11, eleven times ten. 10. So okay. you need to take four eight. 12, 13, 12, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. 19 minus 11 is 8. 8 times 10 is times 80. 10 is 80. So you need to go to page. Uh, uh, yeah. Uh, Boink. Ta da! Uh, woo! Yeah. Lemon power, page 80. Yeah. <laughs> Which. Anyway, uh, super lemons generate more power for... Oh, I didn't see that last time. Super lemons. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. Huh. Hmm. The last 20 years, I've been working on a breed of lemon which contained more raw power than a <laughs> usual lemon and was better on pancakes. <laughs> <laughs> it has been a trial and error and occasionally more, more orange, orange tangerine, tangerine, and not one disastrous... Ex and, in one disastrous example, potato. But I successfully planted a small plant of my super lemon variety in the gatehouse kitchen and can only hope they continue to thrive. This is also the variety I installed as a backup power supply, giving giving as they do re, as they do reliable and long-lasting power when grouped together. It is important to maintain the circuits with fresh lemons once in a while. On no account should the lemons be eaten to excess in case the art the acidic content reaches general overall levels of constitutional bitterness. Oh. And there's tree care. Okay. Anyway. Okay. So sorry, guys. We're, I, I love how much detail went into this. Yeah. Beyond, the, atten like, the attention to detail in this game is absolutely incredible to me. So. All right. So we've got one and two. And they're going to leave a spike over. Okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. So. One. Yep. Rotate, rotate. No, it's on. Yes, rotate. Remember, it needs to go not there. These two. Oh. Because you put it on one of the ones with the X. Oh, right, right, right. Oh, that makes it. Uh, yeah. So you need to. So. That's not where it needs to go. Okay. You need to rotate it once more. And then move it on the two pegs it's supposed to go on. No. There you go. Okay. My bad. All right. And now. And then the next one goes there. All right. And then. And three goes vertically all the way to the left. All right. And then four goes here, right? Mm-hmm. All right. Back to the handy. Four, and then five is vertical, and then six is candy. Eight. 
Okay. I just remembered there being one extra lemon. There is. Okay. It was I, I saw that, but it yeah. was hidden. Yeah. It just needed a good Some bash. Time, Time for, for a bit, bit more telly then. Nice. Oh, I missed it. Alright, anyway. Um, so now that we've solved that, um, I think we'll call it good, and uh, we'll get back to you guys with mm -hmm. our next one. Um, anyway, thanks for watching. Thumbs up. Uh, Please like, comment, com subscribe. Yep. And we'll catch you guys in the next one. Yep. Bye. Toodle doodle.